Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here for Gibson TV. We're backstage at NAMM 2020. It is my pleasure to have legend, Robbie Krieger. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Welcome, uh, welcome to the NAMM show. You've done, you've done these before, I'm sure. Uh, I have, uh, but like I was telling you, I didn't come to NAMM for like 20 years. And then uh, just five years ago, you know, I started, you know, when I, when my SG thing came out, yeah. I started coming and then more and more. So I've been doing it uh, every year. Tall Daddy starts lighting up the, lighting up your phone and now here you are. Dude, you are one of the icons of the Gibson SG. Do you remember the first time that you played one or, or when, you, when you got it? Yeah, uh, I got it at a place called Ace Loans in Santa Monica. Yeah. You know that place? Is that, was that the same as Ace Music, or is that they yeah, just changed? Music, yeah, I, yeah, I've heard the stories. Yeah, it used to be a pawn shop before it was a music shop. Um, so I just had seen Chuck Berry play uh, a couple about a week before, and before that I was never into electric guitars. You know, I always had flamenco and folk music stuff like that. And I saw Chuck Berry play, and I go, man, I gotta get a red guitar like that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? So I went down there, and the and the the three forty three thirty fives were a little expensive. So the SG, which was actually a melody maker, your first one was a melody SG melody maker. maker. I don't. Is that even an SG? Yeah. Uh, the, the second version of it had the SG yeah, body. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's that was one hundred and eighty, which was all I could afford. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really liked it, and that's the one uh, I used on the first album. And I think the second album as well. Yeah. And it got stolen. Do you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> as it happens. Do you ever play other stuff, or do you have a like a large? Do you are you chasing guitars all the time, or are you pretty I, much stick I'm to the classic? I'm not a chaser, but um, I, I I have a, I got about twenty five thirty guitars. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly Gibsons. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. <laughs> but, got a six sixty Les Paul. You have a burst? Sunburst. Actually, you know what? I saw your burst when yeah. we first met when I started back at the LA showroom. You had it there that day. Oh, okay. How long have you have you had that guitar? Um, seems like about 20 years, maybe. Before it went totally nuts. Yeah. On the way up to yeah, the Yeah, it was still expensive. I think I paid 80 for it. Well, you've done all right on that, <laughs> I'm sure. But what, yeah. what, no what do you notice uh, the difference between the SGs and the Les Pauls? Is there something specific you would pick that guitar up instead of the SG4? Or? Um, it just, you know, it has a certain sound to it that's, that you can't get with an SG. Um, I don't know which one I like better, but uh, I, I, you know, I use the SG mainly because it's light. Yeah, no. And uh, I've got, uh, you know, back problems, so I can't use the Les Paul for too long. But uh, I like them both. Yeah. I know you are working on a new record. You want to tell us about uh, what you got coming out here? Yeah. Um, it's one that I've been working on for three years, maybe. Really? And uh, my buddy from uh, uh, Frank Zappa's band, um, uh, Arthur Barrow, who was the bass and Frank's band leader for a while, uh, uh, Arthur Barrow. Yeah. It was, we probably pretty much started writing together, and then, and then we uh, we got Tommy Mars involved, who's a keyboard player from Zappa, and um, uh, Chad Wackerman did yeah, uh, yeah. did a couple songs with us, um, and uh, we had various other you know uh, musicians that played as well, but those were the main guys. Um, and it's kind of uh, instrumental stuff, you know, jazz, I guess you'd call it, but with my own twist, uh, guitar-wise. Very cool. Do you still play all, all the time? Do you just wake Pretty up much. and play? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll go a couple of days without playing sometimes, um, but uh, I just... Uh, my my thumbs don't work as good as they used to, so I just had this uh, new procedure done. Really? So hopefully I'll be able to play more. It's called PRP. I've heard about this. I guess. Yeah, they 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 take your blood and they spin it, 
and it gets uh, the stem cells going and stuff like that. And then they inject Inject it back. And uh, I just had it the other day. So we'll see how good it works. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. I know you got to get in the other room because you're uh, you're doing a panel on stage. But uh, thank you so much for flying the Gibson flag all these years and all your contributions to rock and roll, man. We all appreciate it. It's starting to get good here back in the Artist Lounge backstage at Gibson, NAM 2020. We'll be hanging out all afternoon. See you guys.